Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm taking a little break from squirrel hunting as we roll into deer season and I'm taking some time to go out in this creek and hopefully catch a couple of fish with this Zebco Mini 33 Micro Series. This combo, you get the rod included, you can find these online and stores, things of that nature, but they're really, really inexpensive. I've had this one for five years, I've caught plenty of fish on it and it's been nothing but reliable. If you're looking to get into a little bit of brim fishing, these rods are a great way to do it. They don't break the bank and they sure are heck a lot of fun to use and simple operation, especially for beginners with that button on the back. But we won't spend too much time on this. We'll get into the setup a little bit later. I got some crickets with me. Let's see this thing in action, put my money where my mouth is and see if we can catch a couple of fish on it. Just like the rest of the country, we're experiencing a pretty severe drought. Normally this would be like two or three feet higher and it would be low even then. So we're going to have to search for these guys a little bit, see if we can find some deep pockets. And the water usually running a little bit better through here. Just not doing that today. Whatever the case may be, we've certainly got something right off the bat. <laughs> little sunfish to start off this video. Well, we either got really lucky or found our first deep pocket. Take a look at that guy. Nice small bluegill to start off things. He's actually pretty darn cold. I'm surprised the water's that cold quite yet. But yeah, not much bigger than the reel itself. Let's get this guy off and see if we can catch a couple more. For those that have been with the channel for some period of time, you know I absolutely love ultralight fishing. The bass people can have their stuff, catfish guys their thing, but I love this ultralight stuff. It's really inexpensive to get into, especially with a rod and reel like this one. Bait is cheap. I think I paid like $3.75 for the crickets. And this was like $4. Um, that's really what it comes down to. It's simple, cheap, and expensive, and in my opinion, a lot of fun. But, got that guy loaded up. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Now, why am I bringing up the Zepco? Because I know some of you were thinking, well, you've had other rod and reels in the past, you know, $100 setups, $150 setups, absolutely. I'm not saying this is the best rod and reel there is for ultralight. What I'm saying is, this is a great starter setup, or a great setup like I'm using it today, which is in the woods, at the hunting camp. That way I don't have to worry about bringing those others back and forth, back and forth. This will still catch me plenty of fish. I don't need it to cast far. I don't need to be super agile. I just need it to cast about 25 30 feet tops and be comfortable enough to reel in and sensitive enough to try to get a fish like this one here there's another one they're small but they're little fighters especially again on these small setups nice little sunfish now normally i wouldn't call these either size i'm not keeping any today regardless i just came out here for a little bit of fun but you can fillet these things whole and you still got a little bit of meat here. Granted, I've caught bigger fish on these setups, just smaller fish overall today. The water's colder, things of that nature. It's not spawning season. There we go, another small one, back in the water. Might have something there. Yep, <laughs> something small at least. Yeah, not too big. Oh, let's hug up around that branch. Let's see if it'll get itself free. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Look right there, we got a beautiful, I think they're called long gears if I'm not mistaken. But a nice juvenile long gear. I love the colors on that thing. Like I mentioned, these fish are cold, surprisingly so, because it's been in the mid-80s throughout the day mostly and hasn't gotten but to the 70s at night. Now, I might be the only one that thinks it, but the weather we have today is some of my favorite weather of the year. Just kind of gloomy and gloomy, not much going on, lots of cloud cover. It signals fall, the leaves are falling. I just absolutely love it. The one thing I wish that were different, though, other than catching fish, is that it was about 20 degrees cooler. It has just stayed hot this year. Not as hot as last year, but it's staying hotter longer this year. There's no question. And there's a bite. 
Whatever it was was half decent. We'll have to cast back over there. There we go. <laughs> Even trying to make a couple small runs. Let's see what we got here. Another small sun sunfish. I do have the light or the drag set somewhat light on this reel. Um, just a personal preference, but yeah, that's not a bad size one. You could definitely throw that into the grease, but just pop this one off the hook. It's being a little difficult. There we go. Let it go, let it grow. For the gear I'm using terminal tackle, super simple, super easy. I just have a simple cork bobber followed by only about six inches of line because the creek is so dry right now. Your depth is going to vary depending on you know how deep the fish are. But since it's so shallow, obviously this has got to be shallow too. Plus this keeps me from getting hung up on the bottom. Small split shot, just an inch or so above the hook, maybe not even that, a creek quarter inch. That's going to keep your bait where you want it to because the crickets, they will float. So if you had your weight all the way back here, it's going to float up to the surface just about. You want them down to that strike zone. Finally, just a small size 10. I think this is an Aberdeen offset hook. Really effective for bluegill. They are notorious for getting down to the guts, though. That's one of the smaller problems. But when you're doing this ultra, ultra light fishing in these creeks, the smaller the hook you have, usually the better it is and the more success you're going to have. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these little rod and reels have a very low gear ratio. So you're going to notice I'm cranking quite a bit to bring fish in. Again, just that low gear ratio puts less stress on the internals as well by keeping it lower. So one of the downsides to a smaller rod and reel, but still effective at catching fish, Honestly, even with that smaller ratio, it just means you get to have a little bit more fun and a little bit more time to bring them in. And that one, again, isn't too bad of one. Pretty quick for a bite there. Hopefully something will take it under. And something has. There we go. <laughs> been a minute we finally got this little guy let's reel it in that's pretty close to be one of the biggest ones of the day unfortunately it looks like it swallowed that hook yeah it did slow slow biting fish off to go get some pliers and get that thing off but i think we're going to call it there as the final fish of the day i am out of crickets this thing right here was an absolute treat to use today caught plenty of brim on it and like i said over the last five or six years i've had these little combos caught bass on it crappie brim you name it these things have done it they've been fantastic and reliable now if you're interested in any of the gear i have used today i'll link it up here in that corner or up here in this corner and that's just going to be the hooks this little rod and reel setup things of that nature that you could find quick and easy and that's really it Guys, if you have any questions, make sure to put them into the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.